we're going to create a brand new Spring Boot application from IntelliJ IDEA. Now, at the welcome page, as you see here, there is a create new project. We will select that. And now we have many different options. We're going to pick the Spring Initializer. And because we have normal access to the internet, we will just select the start.spring.io unless you had some other location like a proxy, then you would have to do some type of custom URL. We will just hit next. And let's just create a example one. I'm going to call this base logic dot and we'll just call this uh, security as I'm going to do a security example for this. And we will call it just a security demo. There, a security demo. Now, we're going to use this as a Maven project, although we could also do a Gradle project, and both of which will generate wrappers, which will automatically download either Maven or Gradle for you, and you do not have to install it or pre-install it. And we're just going to go with the defaults for right now as far as everything else. We will hit next. And let's pick a couple things. Now, let's actually say that we want to, and what I'd like to do is I'm going to do a REST repository. And for this example, we will also pick, let's do, uh, let's pick JPA and actuator. Let's just pick the actuator. Let's do dev tools. These are just a few that I like to pick and uh, use for every project I'm doing. So we're going to do dev tools, REST repository, so we have some web access, JPA, we'll bolt on some data access shortly, and we'll also do the actuator. However, we also want to do security. Now we'll add security in here. We're going to hit next. And we're again going to hit finish, but we'll pull this into... Yeah, let's let's do it into a, uh, this location, wherever we want to have this installed on our local machine. It will create an exploded version of this. Hitting finish will, of course, download everything, create the project, and as one thing to point out, we should have one file, which is our Spring application already done, Spring Boot application. And we also have a Linux and Macintosh version of a Maven wrapper. We also have a Windows version of the Maven wrapper, which will automatically download Maven by running the wrapper instead of the standard command and will download the necessary executables to run Maven. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like that, please subscribe to my channel and see all the latest videos that I have coming out. Thanks a lot.